Yo, where's your joke? Um, uh, we don't know. Oh, granite? Yeah. <laughs> Called grenade? Yeah, oh, granite. <laughs> grenade juice. <laughs> Let me get some of that grenade juice. We're gonna start my journey here with y'all. <coughs> uh, my background, I uh, I never knew what I really wanted to do when I was a kid, but uh, it was more towards helping people because I like to help people. So at the time, my mom needed braces and so I wanted to become a dentist to help her fix that problem. But then we started getting older, getting to high school, college, and then everybody asked me, especially my family, like, what do you want to do in life? And I guess cooking just came to mind first. Uh, I just like, you know, you're at home, coming home from school, your parents or grandma, whoever, your guardian, <coughs> is taking care of you, and then all of a sudden, you smell that onion, you smell that garlic, the oil, like it just starts, that's the fragrance you first smell, and then for some reason, that thought just hit me every time somebody asks what I wanted to do. So that's how I started cooking. And I started practicing at home. My first few dishes. I'm gonna make a video of my first dish. Let's see how it went. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, it was pretty bland at first. No, it was pretty good at first. But I think I, I could do way more now. Um, so I just started home cooking around high school, practicing. <coughs> a lot of Asian stuff and then Noodles, noodles. I, I, I made a lot of. For those who went to high school with me, and you tried my noodles, I actually haven't made it since then. Like, I guess I made it too much during then. I just got sick of it, so I, I stopped. But we're gonna revisit that. It was pretty good, but let's see what I can do with it now. And then after high school, I spent about two years worth of cooking school with my chef my who taught me everything my successor as you can see Victoria Hobel chef Victoria shout out to her uh, she taught me everything I knew I know now uh, yeah I wish I could see her more and learn more from her. Maybe I can make a video with her one day. Uh, yeah, so I spent two years just straight learning, coming in early, leaving late, putting my heart and soul into the kitchen, learning how to be a leader, learning how to lead the team, cook, fail, succeed. We went through a whole lot of shit. One time, someone left the freezer open and it's all jointed. We have three freezers against the wall and they're all connected. Two doors each of the three freezers, but they're all connected inside. So, bruh. No one double checked the closing for that class. And one student just said, fuck it and I guess grab something from the freezer that she left inside and didn't bother her clothes, she just let it... But it didn't close. Next day, almost everything tarnished, perished, like, whoa, it was such a sad, such a big loss of money. From then on, my closing, I try to be perfect with everything. Especially with my jobs and the future from now on. And then, yeah. That was pretty bad. 
after two years of learning everything I can, just absorbing, enhancing all the techniques, I went on to George Brown. And when I went on to George Brown, it was a very fun environment, actually. There was a lot of foreign people. I like chilling with the foreign people more. There's the Canadians or the Americans or whatever, and then there's foreigns. The foreigners are more pure and like they are so nice and obviously their English isn't too good so I loved helping them. I'm shout out to the old team, Batowski, fucking Zitlamad, freaking Sean, I don't know if you're watching this. Where's my EJ? EJ, Ehi, Ehi Kwan. This is a Chinese girl. She's long on yo, Tina. I always piss her off. And for some of those, for some of you who know who Kim Jong is, <laughs> from all those snaps and stories from my Instagram and shit. Her, shout out to you guys. Dennis, I remember Dennis. He was a part of her crew. And Jin, I miss Jin. Jin was cool. Yeah, so I just helped them out. Whatever they needed. All those goddamn action plans. Uh, so then, there was that side of college, and then there was the other side. That pe Those people, some of them, are cocky as fuck. We had one person just come in the George Brown like shop, there's a store inside. And we're browsing knives and stuff, we're wondering what to get, like, what's enough, what's needed, like, the minimal requirements. This fucking jackass walks up. <sighs> this is, you guys looking for knives? Like, this ain't bad, this ain't, like, better than my thousand dollar knife here, you know? You gotta, this is, this is awesome, like, you guys, you guys gotta reach my level to get the like, Shut the f Shut up! And there was another time, um, oh my god, this white dude from the US, just teacher's pet, teacher's pet, just kissing ass, just all the professors, all the chefs, and, and like some of them realized, and they were just like, bro, we don't, thank you, but no. And then some, some other professors just took it. Like it was so weird, and then what's another one? Oh, and I thought college was filled with professionals, but I guess there's also assholes and thieves too. Uh, my Victoria Hobel, she handed me down her own. Well, she purchased my first chef roll. This is knife nice roll. Holds all the knives. I was so happy, it had everything needed for me to go to George Brown. I left it, I, we entered a class, there's a few students leaving, and we put our shit down, grabbed our ingredients. While we grabbed our ingredients, someone comes in or I don't know, I seen one guy come around our table and I didn't acknowledge him, but when I got back, I looked at everything, I didn't see sh my shit anymore. It just got teeth and man ran off. And bro, I was about to cry on the spot. Those, I don't care if I lose my shit, but she gave me that stuff and it had sentimental value. And I was, oh man, I was about to break down there. I was like, yo, I had nothing now. It's gonna cost me so much more money to to get more new shit. I told everybody, I asked everybody around. I didn't accuse anyone. I was just asking. But I do remember that one fucking white kid that came in and just took that shit, didn't even give it back or attempt. I made an announcement, I told the professors, they made an announcement, nothing. Just... Take it and go! Fuck. So, I didn't learn much from George Brown except for the management. Uh, I took culinary management, hospitality, one. The expenses, all that shit, the measurements, the calculations, food costs, uh, those, 
Mm-hmm. I got more deep into that. That's what I liked. But the food-wise, it was just exploring different countries and a lot, like 80-90% I already learned from Victoria Oval. So it seemed kind of boring, but I wanted to be humble at all. Just because I, like, I don't want to say I know, I know, I know. <coughs> uh, I was still being humble and trying to learn everything I already knew. Maybe to have a new, different technique I can you know, that I don't know, I can in- inherit that, but yeah, and then the college strike happened around 2017 or something, and it just screwed up my program somehow in my OSAP, so then that's where things got very stressful, and around there, that's when I stopped going, it's just fuck it, you don't really need to go to college for all this shit, it's sort of like a bonus, you can literally find a nice wholesome chef at a restaurant you can apply to learn from them and they'll literally hand you down all their knowledge (coughs) Um, yeah it's better to work hands on and go straight into the kitchen world rather than just going to school in my opinion to be honest and from there on I learned to cook with Hovel George Brown at home. I lived a year with my boy. Experimented there. And here we are with all this experience and we're gonna We're gonna show off a bit. Thank you for watching this. Hope you stay tuned in. That is my chef life summary. Um, this is a shit ton more to learn. Help me. We're gonna learn together. Ikuzo.